Hi guys, this is Gwendy85 and I'm here with my very first uh, Clip Studio Paint tutorial. And Clip Studio Paint is my favorite software to draw on. It's worth every penny. Um, and I usually color in anime style, cell style. And I recently um, looked up some tutorials online as to how to make my workflow easier. And that's how I found the lasso uh, fill tool, as I'd like to call it. Um, it's over here, this one, the one with the ice cream. I'll link at the bottom in the description as to where you can download it in uh, the assets section of the Clip Studio Paint website. So I have a finished uh, drawing here, uh, already complete with line art and we're going to go ahead and uh, color in this drawing now normally I would um, go ahead and um, add uh, the background the dark background so I can see if uh, where I'm going with the uh, eye color the, the whites of the eye However, uh, there's a problem if you use this tool and there's um, a color in the background, it'll color in everything. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. And there, see? Now, if there's no color in the background, if I remove this violet right here, and let's just say we do this. I'm going to color in her lips with some red. There. It instantly colors uh, closed uh, areas. So make sure that when you draw, uh, there are no um, gaps in between the, line, uh, in, um, in between the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start coloring. Now, in, in, when it comes to the details, uh, I do have a detailed drawing here with lots of lines, the wrinkles for the clothes, and especially the hair. So what I do with that is I actually put the hair in a different layer. I mean the details of the hair in a different layer. See? So that way, when I color in the hair, uh, I don't have to go through uh, some trouble. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say she's blonde. And I try to fill in the hair. Just like so. It doesn't fi fill all the way in. So, uh, although it see there's a little bit of white left here but I tend to um, just you know remove the details that way it's easier for me to see what I'm uh, filling in so let's start with the eyebrows there you go it's, got, it's closing already uh, I would advise that uh, y when you go ahead and color, you also color in different layers. So I usually um, put the eyebrows and the hair in one layer. So now I'm going to uh, fill in the hair. Careful not to go through the ear. That's over there. It doesn't matter if you overlap a little. As long as um, it's uh, not overlapping the other closed gaps area, this is what I mean. If you do that, it'll, you know, uh, fill in the other areas. So you just have to be careful where you... Uh, where you fill in your lasso tool and there's also several uh, options here so there's close gap so that indicates the amount of level 
that you close the gaps so that in the line drawing if you can see here there's a little gap over there now I'm going to try uh, the lowest level of closing the gap let's see if that still works nope it doesn't because there's a gap here so, so if we increase that let's see if it works this time yep it works it sealed the gap that was here so just you know you can just go ahead and play around with the settings there's also area scaling I usually have it at one but if you want it uh, you know the area to be scaled up a bit more so let's see what happens if I scale it up to the maximum if you notice uh, it goes a little bit out of the area the uh, the gap it goes out and there also tends to be uh, some of the brown actually went a bit past uh, the line art so that's why I would recommend a one but it's entirely up to you if you feel that the maximum uh, area scaling works for you then it's totally fine but for what I'm trying to achieve here um, area scaling one works best for me so if there's a part that's not filled in you just gotta go back there just fill that in and of course we can't have her ear filled up so just go ahead and erase that part so I just erase it so if you're uh, if you notice uh, this isn't a uh, very uh, nicely erased so I'll just fill those up again with the same tool the lasso fill tool which I downloaded from uh, clip the clip studio paint website there's also a part here that I need to get rid of you can either use the eraser tool or just the wand tool just click that make sure that it's selected to all layers and just delete and that's another thing before I forget you need to select all layers uh, if you want the um, the lasso fill tool to uh, work with all the other layers otherwise if you're just working with one layer just you know focus on that layer but for now uh, the default which I'm using is uh, the all layers option so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start coloring in our drawing and making sure that I put uh, the different elements in as many layers as I can many separate layers as I can so that way um, I'll be able to edit the layers with no worries I'm going to speed up the process right now so you won't have to uh, wait for too long for this join to finish. If you notice with the eyes, uh, since it's a small detail, I actually went and uh, zoomed in really close so I can make sure that the whites uh, go in. So now we're done with the base colors. So we're going to go ahead with the shading. And to do that, uh, what I usually do is I create a new layer for every single one of uh, the layers the colors that I'm working on and make a clipping mask 
So let's start with the hair. To make a clipping mask, just put a new layer above the layer you're going to be working on. Right click and select clip to layer below. And that will ensure that any color that you use will not go beyond uh, the layer below. So this will make for some perfect uh, shadows and highlights. Um, what I usually do is I select the color that I was using and then I move down a little in the color wheel and move the hue a little bit just so the color will be different and now we're back to using the um, lasso fill tool and depending on where your shadow is at that's where you're going to uh, I mean where your light source is at that's uh, you're going to be putting that's how you indicate where to put your shadow so my light source is somewhere on the upper left uh, corner so I'm going to put the shadows towards the lower right corner so here's a quick overview now I'm not necessarily satisfied with the shadow because I think it's a bit too light so I'm just going to go ahead and darken it a bit and also uh, another thing that you can work on is the stable uh, stabili stabilization so if you have shaky hands like I do you can just bump up the stabilization so it will make for some cleaner lines just like so and I'm going to go ahead and add those shadows in with the hair and I'm gonna speed up the process so you won't have to wait that long so that's uh, the shadow for the hair uh, please don't mind that it's uh, kind of messy because I this is just a uh, supposed to be this is supposed to be just a quick t tutorial now uh, normally I would go through almost every strand uh, because I really like doing details but for the case of this tutorial I'm just gonna you know gonna make things quick for you guys uh, after we're done with the shadow I usually go ahead and do the highlights for the hair so I select the color again and this time I move the to the color wheel to somewhere lighter and again I move the hue a bit see if I'm satisfied with that one let's see yeah I'm okay with that so I go I go ahead and add the highlights in much the same way I did with the shadow although this time I'm adding it towards the uh, light source there just like that so this tool the uh, lasso fill tool has helped us uh, you know just immediately add those highlights and shadows rather than going through the lasso tool and then selecting areas and then choosing a fill so this is pretty much just all in one you can go ahead and just use the lasso tool and it fills up uh, whatever uh, color that you choose and so it makes the workflow so much easier uh, I'm gonna go ahead and color the rest of her and I'm going to show you the final result uh, you know the full drawing that I actually made because I already did uh, this I actually already finished this piece so let me go ahead and color the rest of her and I'll just you know show you guys how I did it
So let's just pretend that I already finished uh, the artwork. So that's uh, pretty much how you do it. It's uh, fairly easy. So the final product actually looks like this. Let me just go ahead and uh, show you guys. The colors I chose were actually different from the one that I showed you in this tutorial. There. See? And yeah, I added some highlights for the eyes. You can see there, everything here is uh, done with the lasso fill tool from Clip Studio Paint. Again, the lasso fill tool is actually a downloadable asset. It's this one with the ice cream. I'll give you guys a link at the description as I mentioned. And I hope you enjoy using the tool as much as I did. It has definitely made my workflow a lot faster, a lot more enjoyable. And you just go ahead and uh, do as you please with the tool. Discover how else you're going to go ahead and uh, do it. And you guys enjoy. If you have any other questions, just go ahead and uh, leave a comment, subscribe. And hopefully, I will be able to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for watching. This has been Gwendy85. And look forward to more tutorials if I feel like it. Thanks for watching.